Hey guys, this is just a quick video again to show you an alternative to the 100 watt power supply that come with the Inspire one. Um, I have two and there is uh, some uh, conversations and arguments going on as to what would happen if you plug it into a larger power supply meaning as far as the wattage. Um, this is not to incite anything on those um, forums. Um, this is solely to give somebody else an avenue to the four or five hundred dollar uh, chargers that are out there right now for the Inspire or that will be there pretty soon. So this is a uh, 20 amp, 24 volt, well actually 24.37 volts is what I measure at it and um, versus the 26.0 so it's less than a little bit less than or a little bit more than a bolt and a half uh, shouldn't be an issue for it but it is given 492 watts is what I measured on it at the 24.3 um, so basically close to 500 watts or about three times more the charger capacity I mean I'm sorry the power supply capacity of the one that comes with the Inspire One so the idea is to um, get yourself um, part kit number 34 which is actually this uh, wire and it comes uh, one of the uh, well on one end comes to the battery and then the other end comes to the controller so the idea is that you would use the continuous cable to charge the controller so uh, they're eight bucks. It's what I got them on uh, eBay. So you basically will be able to uh, split it and then hook it up to the power supply. And with the power supply, the idea eventually what I did is that I got myself uh, three of this, and so I will have uh, three times eight is twenty-four for those of us that went to grade school and. Um, the idea would be that I'll be able to charge comfortably three batteries at uh, close to 500 watts. Uh, depends on the, whether they are the TB48s. In this case, they draw about 180 watts out of the power supply. Um, versus the uh, TB47s will draw a little bit less. Nonetheless, uh, again, the power supply will provide up to uh, close to 500 watts. So it should allow you to charge uh, more comfortably it is uh, not a pretty thing to look at of course and it is not uh, to be traveling with it I guess uh, I mean you could be traveling uh, I wouldn't want to be traveling this would be just for home usage um, it's, uh, I can give you guys the dimensions on the if you notice uh, I actually do have a it's about a it's about six inches or so and um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to plug it in and show it in action here. It is loud as well, so because uh, it's got uh, active cooling. So it does have a fan here on the back. And if you notice right now, it's actually charging the battery. So no problem charging the battery. Um, I'm going to test later on. I'm going to discharge a couple of batteries, TB48s, to the same percentage. And then uh, plug in one of the batteries to this power supply and one of the batteries to the uh, Inspire power supply and measure the temperatures, measure the, uh, the time that it takes to charge, measure uh, the wattage, measure just about anything that we can think to measure just to uh, try and help um, you know, the conversations on the forums and to hopefully alleviate some of the concerns and whether or not it will charge or not, and whether or not we'll uh, burn it out or not. Uh, again, I don't know. Um, right now, I did measure the temperature on the battery uh, on both, uh, but I'm not going to disclose so much of the variance right now. I, I will say that this one uh, stays at a very comfortable 77 degrees, and right now the temperature of where I am in my place is uh, set at 75, meaning at, in the house. So. Uh, but nonetheless, I don't believe that uh, the battery will uh, get any warmer than, than that. So um, I don't know whether it will charge faster or not. 
stay in tune and then uh, we'll check that out so um, for anybody interested I can just provide you guys the links to this power supply again there is a variance about a, a volt volt and a half uh, a little bit uh, less than volt and a half and I don't believe that it should be any issue for uh, the battery itself and um, the good thing about it is that you can change whatever type of connections you, you want this charger will give you three connections so I could, right there you can see that there's uh, three connections and um, that's it so hopefully this helps somebody